Hi, everyone. My name is RJ Hakis. I'm an Adobe Senior Product Evangelist for our Technical Communication Suite. And just yesterday, I published the first sneak peek video on Adobe RoboHelp 9 on how the new version will provide support for conducting project reviews using the cloud and also using Microsoft SharePoint. One thing I noticed in just the first day of this video is how much our customers are excited about our new SharePoint integration. And so I wanted to take a few minutes to show you what else we're doing in Adobe RoboHelp 9 as it pertains to SharePoint. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how in Adobe RoboHelp 9, you will be able to publish directly to SharePoint so that there's no need to having to publish locally first and then having to manually upload the web help folder to a SharePoint workspace. So let me show you what this experience is going to be like. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to show you what my SharePoint uh, workspace looks like. And as you can see, I have a folder here and it's called the RJ. And uh, to simplify things, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create a new folder under that. And I'm going to call it RoboHelp. And this is the folder that I'm going to be publishing to uh, directly from Adobe RoboHelp 9. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK for that. And as you can see, the folder is going to get generated. And now I can target this folder directly from uh, RoboHelp. So let me go ahead and switch us to RoboHelp. And I'm going to show you where that option is going to be. Okay, so here we are in the upcoming RoboHelp 9. And this is just a simple, simple project that I created based on one of the uh, templates that are included. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click my web help folder. And in the web help settings uh, dialog box, I'm going to go to the publish uh, area. And I've already created a uh, SharePoint connection here, but let me go ahead and show you uh, what this is going to be like by clicking edit. And as you can see, you're going to be able to specify a name for this uh, published destination. And SharePoint, as you can see, is one of the new options that we're going to have um, in the section for connection protocols. And from that point, all you have to do is just uh, specify the SharePoint path, um, in other words, to the workspace, and then click OK. And of course, the final step here is to click uh, Save and Generate, which is what I'm going to do. So this process is going to be very similar to publishing to uh, RoboHelp server. It's just that when you hit publish at this point, you're actually going to be publishing directly to the SharePoint workspace that you specified. So let me go ahead and hit publish. And then we're going to go and take a look at what was published. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch us back to uh, take a look at the RoboHub folder and all the files that were published to it um, on my SharePoint workspace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click the RoboHub folder so that I can open it up. And to launch the, um, the initial file, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit until I get to the index.htm, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, I'm actually running the web help system right from within my RoboHelp um, workspace on SharePoint. So if I want to take a look at another folder, I can click on mortgage application. And I can take a look at this topic. I could also go to the index, a search, but uh, you know, my point is that uh, starting with RoboHelp 9, you won't have to first publish to your local system and then manually upload your uh, folder to the SharePoint workspace because what we're doing is we're simplifying that whole process. So again, this is what I wanted to show you. And um, I hope you like it. If you use SharePoint, I'd love to hear your input. So you can do that by leaving a comment at the bottom of this post. Or you can also send me a tweet at our but I thank you for watching and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.